When you get hold of a big piece of meat like this, and this is the entire leg of a lamb, you have a, a primal urge to just throw it on the fire and grill it and sit in the forest in your loincloth and yeah well, actually now we're we're a bit more refined and usually I throw it on the grill and when I do that, I debone it. So let me show you how to do it in a, a bit more civilized manner. And for God's sakes, don't use the loincloth. My rule of thumb when deboning and cutting up meat is going from the outside and in. There's a lot of superfluous stuff here. There's a back and there's a hip bone and there's the shank. We have to remove all those first. So first, I start by cutting up the shank. Cut at the joint until you can feel you hit the joint and then use your saw. This is just a regular hacksaw. If you have a butcher saw, you feel free to use that. But it, it's really not necessary for this small piece of meat. If you don't do it that often, there's no reason to to use a, an expensive meat saw for that. That's the shank. There's so little meat on it, I usually just throw it away. Now I cut off the, the backbone. Cut until you feel the bone and then saw. Now there's a little bit of meat, then I use the knife again. That's a, it's very little meat, so I throw that away too. Now there's the regular piece of leg of lamb that you would typically see in a vacuum pack in the freezer at the groceries. You start by feeling where the bone is. And you have to find where it's where it's closest to the to the surface. I can feel that that's right here. So we start by slicing, and that's the inner side of the, the leg. And then you cut where you feel the, the bone. And then you follow the bone. Yeah, and I'm not a butcher, so any butchers, you don't have to comment that I do a, a hack job. I know it, but uh, it works. That's a bit of trimming here that I cut that off too there's no reason to nobody wants to eat it then I follow the bone on both sides the bone is here and now I'm at it and then I go on each side and I do it a bit slowly Let's just say that's because I want to show you how it's done. It's not because I'm bad at it. Well, I cut about one and a, or a half centimeter at a time because you have to be careful not to cut over too much of the muscle. A leg of lamb will fall completely apart if you do that. Now the, the bone is slowly revealing itself. I have a good sense of where I'm going and, and since I'm using small cuts that are not very deep, I don't risk destroying my leg of lamb. Simply feel your way, use your fingers on the in the meat and feel the bone and then cut outside it. Not your fingers. The general rule is if, if you're a bit careful, nothing bad will happen. It will, you will not destroy the meat or anything like that. It, it really isn't that difficult, it just takes a little time. And now I'm getting the payoff of all those careful cuts. Now I'm showing you all of this because that'll give you a, a, a good idea about how difficult it, it really is, or how easy it really is. And again, the leg of lamb is made of a, a lot of small muscles, so we have to be careful how we cut, because if we cut those muscles, then, uh, then it'll disintegrate. There's, there'll be nothing to hold it together when you have deboned it. 
When we're getting there. And that's the last of it. And notice there's practically no meat left on the bone. All we have here is a nice piece of leg of lamb that is deboned. It's still a bit chunky and uneven, so I butterfly it. I cut into the, the middle of the meat. I want it to be evenly thick all over. And the butterflying is, it's, imagine it's a pair of wings that opens up. That's why it's called butterflying. And you have some parts that are especially thick, you can just cut into them and make some incisions. If it's not evenly thick all over, then it won't be baked or fried at the same time. Then we'll have some parts that are red and some parts that are raw and some that is, that's grey. And I re remove the worst of the... If there's some, some brown spotted skin, I remove that. It's too chewy to eat anyway. Any fat, I leave that on, but the, the skin, I take it off. It has no purpose when we are about to grill it, or what we'll roll it into a, a roll, or what we will do with it. It's still too thick, this. So I, I butterfly this once more. This is a big steak of lamb. So, it's not that difficult, it just takes a time, actually it took 10 minutes. And you can find the list of ingredients and the recipe on... Quellifood.